Hey everyone, Sam back once again, and yes, I'm in front of the camera once again. And today, we're going to be doing how to install PowerNet Android onto your Samsung Galaxy S3. So, first of all, you do need to be rooted already, so unfortunately I'm not going to be showing you how to root your device today. If you want me to start doing root videos, as an example, root certain device like the One X, the Galaxy S3, etc., then leave me a like on this video, or even better, leave me a comment down below to tell me, you know, you do want me to start doing them. I've considered doing them, and I've made a video as to why I've not done them. If you want to click around here, I've done a video as to why I've not done many root videos recently. So again, let me know, and I'll, I'll consider actually start doing them. Anyway, as I say, we're going to show you how to put Paranoid Android in your device today, which is a Cyanogen Mod 10 based device. There are two files you need to download, which I'm putting down below, and we're going to show you how to install it now. So, let's go into the review table and let's do this. Right, so as you can see, you've got your standard kind of, you know, home screen here. Now, all I want you to do is go download an application called QuickBoot, in brackets, Reboot, from the Android uh, market, e.g. the Google Play Store. Once you've installed that, basically open it up, and here you're given an option to reboot, recovery, bootload, or power off. Now, what I want you to do in this case, you click recovery. It may ask you to want to give it um, super user access, click grant. Once you've done that, all it's going to do is going to reboot the device and take it straight into the recovery. So as you can see on my recovery here, I've got a bit of a different one than some people. I've got the touch version. So on yours, you may have them where you use the volume up and down like this. Whereas on mine, I can actually basically tap in and out. So what I want you to do first of all is you want you to wipe slash data factory data, data reset. If I can get my words out. And see, on, see at the bottom here, it's just actually formatting all those. And all this is doing is just preparing your ROM to actually be able to install the new ROM. I then want you to do wipe cache partition. Now it's just something I do when not every ROM I install if it's like a completely different one. Then what you need to go to is install zip from SD card and then choose zip from SD card. Now depending on where you put the actual ROM on your device, you'll have to find it here. So some people may have it on the actual card itself. I personally have it all in my download folder under ROMs. I have mine in a jelly bean and then I've got the ROM there. So all I do is tap that. It's in, you know, pretty much asking me, are you sure you want to do this, Sam? Yep, I'm pretty much dead on sure. So tap that, and as you can see down the bottom of here, it is now installing the update as it's called. And all this is doing is just going to flash the Jelly Bean ROM, the Paranoid Jelly Bean ROM, straight to your device. So we're just going to give it a couple of seconds while it do while it actually finishes this off. And there we have it. That's it. It's officially installed. Now what you need to do now, and some of the, and a lot of ROMs you don't need to do this, but with regards to the Cyanogen Mod ROMs, slash the OAKP ROMs. You then need to go to choose it from SD card, click download again, go back into your ROMs or again wherever you've put these folders, wherever you put these, then you want to actually flash the Google apps. So in this case, I've got them there again. So I'm just going to flash those. And you can see it's for 4.1.1. Now I'll put links in the description to for both of these files. They are zip files, do not unzip them. That is the first thing you want to do. Do not unzip them and stick them on your device as to where you're going to find them. So that's it. It's now flushed. It's actually flashed the actual ROM on there. So all you want to do is go back, click reboot device. And what you'll probably see now is once again, you get a Galaxy S3 logo. But I've got a bit of a different surprise for you. There's the Paranet Android logo. So we're just going to let it boot up for the first time. Sometimes it can take a couple of minutes longer than you normally expect. Don't worry. It's just because it's actually writing all those files to the actual phone for you. So again, we're back in a couple of seconds. Right, so here we are. It's now officially loaded up for the first time. So as of normal, it normally comes to the United States. Obviously, you've got all your different kind of you know, countries across the world. Obviously, I'm going to pick United Kingdom. So I'm going to click Start. It's going to ask me, do I have a Gmail account? So yes, I will put my details in rather quickly. Right, so I've clicked Sign In. So it's just currently going through the signing process, as you normally expect. And it's saying, do I want to join Google Plus? Because on the actual account I've put, and I've not joined Google Plus on that one. So no, thank you very much. And if you want to actually purchase, you know, put your Google Play details in there, you can do to actually purchase stuff as well. Again, not for now. Backup and restore, relatively straightforward. I normally click yes, so I have those both ticked. And the next one is now restoring actual all the data that may be on that account specifically. And here we are, the Google location. I always have Google location turned on. Again, it's, it's personal preference. If you don't want it on, then you don't have to, but I always do. So again, as you can see, just a sec. And now the setup is complete. So click finish. So obviously as your standard kind of like 
if you get the ice cream sandwich or jelly bean, you kind of present it with this kind of normal home screen. Click OK, jump into your app drawer, you'll get that little menu again. Again, just click OK on that, and there we have it. You've now got the Paranoid Android ROM installed on your device. Just to show you that it's actually on there, go into the settings. And as you can see, you can now touch the Paranoid Android. I'm going to do in a future video with regards to what all these settings are and why it looks like this in a future video. So just go to About Phone. And as you can see there, Android 4.1.1. And we are running the Signage Mod version of Paranoid Android. And just for a bit of a jelly bean goodness. Why not? There we go. I always find it fun to play with that. So people, that is it. That is how to install it. If you've come from, if you've rooted your device, you're coming from a stock ROM, that is how you install Paranoid Android for your device. I've got another video coming up very, very soon with regards to an overview of Paranoid Android. Please do hit that like button if you enjoy these kind of videos. If you want to see more ROM kind of videos like this, then again, do hit the like button, subscribe, favourite, all that kind of good stuff. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Sam J. Pullum. And yeah, I'll see you all in my next video. Cheers, everyone.